This is the main entrance to Spinthrift Farm in Lexington. The tree-lined lane leading to the farm is just a preview to the beauty of the 1,200-acre facility. With its rolling pastures, frolicking mares and foals, and grazing thoroughbreds. When the farm's maintenance manager, Robbie Moreland, needed to renovate this nearby 130-acre pasture that was purchased a few years ago, he contacted UK's Horse Pasture Evaluation Program, which he had already been working with and is pleased with the outcome. This is a success for the farm and for the university uh, for what this started out as. Um, I think it's a huge success and I don't know that it could have turned out any better. Uh, we'll see in, in another year or two. Moreland described it as a rough piece of land with a lot of weeds prior to the renovation, which was tilled and seeded last summer using orchard grass and Kentucky bluegrass with some perennial ryegrass. No glyphosate was used to kill the weeds. That's not our typical recommendation, um, but they did very well at it. Um, it takes UK's a, a Crystal Lee coordinates to do it the pasture way, evaluation program. Here. It's a great honor to be able to work with, um, with a big farm like Spendthrift. Um, they're well known without, within the industry, um, and it means a lot to us that, that they come to us for advice and looking for um, help in improving their pastures. A pretty serious drought last fall just about derailed the pasture's establishment. But it made it through the winter, was helped by a mild spring and plentiful rain this year. The plans are now to fence it and let the horses graze it this fall. It was time to develop this, this, this grass and this farm just to uh, relieve the pressure in the, on the other side so we can maintain our pastures and, and have rest for our pastures over there. What makes Kentucky so special um, for horse grazing um, and horse and raising horses in general is somewhat the pasture and somewhat um, the weather, but it's primarily the soil. So we have really great soils here, and by maintaining good cover on it, we're able to keep those soils here instead of washing down the river. Lee said pasture evaluations are up this year, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, farms were limited on the number of acres that could be evaluated. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.